hello everyone welcome back today in this video i will explain to you that how we can create multiple roles in our application so client gave me a project where he told me that he need uh, five top uh, five type of different roles the first one is administrator and other one or uh, student and attendance and stuff like that so how i created these this type of roles in our application so this is uh, the user page i can create new user from there so i'm creating a new user which name is john doze right and uh, it's oh it's john doze and the name is name should be this uh, john and this should be a uh, doze okay and the email address should be john at the rate of gmail.com let me copy this and uh, i'm not going to assign this any role so let's click on this save and yes our user saved successfully and uh, this user have no role so let's go to the another window and log in this user so password would be 128 i uh, created same password for all so you can create a different password for one when using creating a new user you can add their password here right and uh, yes now this user don't have anything in the sidebar let's click on this so it's redirect user back to on user home page but this is on the administrator home page this dashboard is same but there is a middleware which is uh, redirecting back user on this user page right so let's go here and uh, check that how i created this type of role so let's go to the text editor and uh, <clears throat> the first step you need to create a role of administrator right the command is php artisan make middleware and the middleware name is is admin and when you create this uh, is admin this will be stored inside this uh, http middleware and this is is admin after creating this is admin uh, this stuff will be empty and there is only one line of code this one right and this is my custom logic i define here so what i'm doing so i have created a uh, roles management a pivot table like let me show you this is a user table right this one is user table this one is a roles table and i created a pivot table of role user where a role uh, will be assigned to a specific user right and now when i edit this role and i want to give some permission like admin and uh, save this user right hit save and this administrator will be assigned to this user and uh, let me go to the database so there will be an id of user and role of uh, id yes the role id is there it's the administrator and the username is john doe so it's stored in the pivot table so now if i go here and refresh the web page everything will be available to this user right everything is available to this user so let me go here and uh, uh, disable this again so nothing will be shown to this user uh, as usual right nothing is there so how i implemented this so there is a logic uh, i said that uh, if auth user roles uh, it means that uh, the user who is login uh, if having some roles fetch their roles and then separate a role and uh, here the role name it's returning the role name and if uh, role name equal administrator then pass this request otherwise redirect this user to home right i created this and uh, how i implemented this uh, in the sidebar and web.php let's go to the web.php file and uh, these are all the routes let me comment this uh, middleware here here i applied this is admin so save this one and uh, go to the project here right save this one and uh, it's not going to display why it's not going to display uh, because this is uh, <clears throat> this is uh, coming from this uh, auth blade.php and uh, this auth uh, is first checking that user is uh, administrator or not so let me comment this out and comment it at the bottom right 
save this one and refresh so option will be available to this user right and yes there are three options are available to this user roles user and student and stuff like that so it means that we are protecting this from this administrator middleware right so let me explain it to you that how it's uh, working behind the scene so we are checking that user is login or not then we are fetching the user role and uh, if the user role name equal admin then admin equal admin so display these uh, list item otherwise it will not display anything right so that's why uh, if i hit refresh so this uh, user don't have any administrator role that's why it's disappeared everything right and in the web.php file i disable this why i disable this because if i want to go to the each menu uh, if the middleware is applied on this it will redirect the user to back right it's protecting these routes if user uh, hit this route let me um, open the, let me comment this and i want to go to this admission right and this admission is stored inside the admin and then slash admission click enter and uh, yes i'm proceeding to the admission table so it's uh, having a lot of data so let me go to the create view of this so that's uh, it's uh, around uh, two five k data that's why it's uh, it takes too much time so let's make it simple and uh, i'm going to this admission slash create right and uh, yes it's opening right now and yes it's, it's open right now right so if I apply this middleware, turn on this middleware, so it's middleware first check that user having this uh, admin role or not, if not, it will redirect the user back. So let's hit refresh, so it will redirect back user to the user slash home, right? So how it's protecting this? It's protecting from this middleware. If the user uh, equal administrator then go to the next step if not return the user to back so it's we are redirecting user to back so as uh, other i also assign there is a different role so let me assign this uh, uh, attendance role save this one and now this administrator will access only attendance module so give it refresh and yes now it's only uh, attendance module is there so if i click on this attendance so user can also go to this attendance module right and uh, yes now it's going to this attendance module so how attendance module is working uh, let me uh, show you another thing which is a uh, uh, supervisor role so this is uh, a little bit complex uh, it's not complex it's uh, simple but uh, people don't understand that how to do this so let me give it refresh and there is two modules the first one is timetable the other one is attendance so these are two separated uh, roles right let me go here edit this and show it to you yes there is timetable and the other one is attendance so it means that uh, we have separate role if i assign this it will display only attendance here and if i assign this timetable it will assign only timetable so if i assign this supervisor so now he is able to see these two two ones right time timetable and attendance right so how can i how i implemented this uh, uh, this middleware right so let's go to the timetable and uh, this is that this is applied the timetable middleware and this is a attendance middleware i did not uh, apply this on a supervisor why i did not apply this on supervisors so let's go to the timetable and attendance module so here i am checking that if the user having role of timetable admin or supervisor administrator can also this uh, access timetable supervisor can access uh, the two ones the first one is uh, uh, attendance and the second one is timetable and we are in the timetable so administrator uh, supervisor can also access this timetable so this is if the role is timetable then he can also access this role so uh, this is the way how you can manage different type of role so if i assign this uh, another role user can uh, we can assign multiple role to a user so let me assign this uh, student fee module so save this one 
and uh, go to the dashboard and give it a refresh and yes now payments module is also enabled why it's enabled because there is student fee um, role is added there so hopefully you understood everything it's very simple you need to create a middleware first then you need to uh, add the logic in the middleware and if you have multiple roles you can uh, say uh, you can put here or condition and then you can define multiple roles there so that's it for this video and if you have any question you can ask me in the comments box and you can also check my laravel advanced series where i'm creating uh, videos on laravel daily basis and um, and there is another series where i am covering laravel from scratch to advanced so uh, watch them i will attach the link in the description so thank you bye bye